Let's measure some angles. Let's say that I have an angle drawn on the board that looks like so. Take a guess as to what this angle would be. A way to go about this and find out is to use a protractor. For a protractor, there's usually a center point or a hole. In this case, we have an arrow on this. This is the world's largest protractor. At any rate, we go ahead and line it up with where the vertex is and usually read it from right to left going upward. The angle is opening up to your right. So in this case, I come up and I read 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And this one looks like, by luck, I just nailed it at 60 degrees. So this one is at 60 degrees. Now, revisiting this, if I put the protractor back on the vertex and measure, I find that, oops, I'm a little off, and it could have been 59 degrees. So it is important to line this up right at the vertex. This is the vertex, and we could label this entire angle A, B, and C. B is the vertex. A way to write where that is located is to call it angle A, B, C. You could also call it angle C, B, A. And can you think of another way to write it? Or much more simply, angle B. So all of those are acceptable. But this is 60 degrees or possibly 59 degrees.